What do you make of Angelina Jolie's comments in the past, uh, what she's saying now? You've been outspoken about this. Yeah, I, like many, many people around the world, have appreciated and respected Angelina Jolie's efforts throughout the many years she's been involved for humanitarian rights and especially women from all regions, uh, for Afghani women, the Syrian women, the Iranian women, as you showed. And yes, of course, I was disappointed. And of course, I was um, hurt and encouraged. It felt like I needed to feel more unsafe. I feel more unsafe with these voices that are being uh, heard around the world. But instead of joining the uh, cancel culture, I don't want to call her out. I want to call Angelina Jolie in. I want to invite her to visit Israel. I want to invite her to come to Beirut, Ashdod, Ashkelon, Nir Oz, Kfar Aza, Eilat, Tel Aviv, everywhere where an Israeli woman, not just Jewish, but every Israeli woman feels unsafe. I invite her to come to meet with the experts that have medicated and treat girls that came back from captivity, that they've been tested for pregnancy. I want her to meet with the mothers and fathers that are still waiting for their return, sons and brothers and sisters from captivity for 91 days. I want her to meet the experts that are now building the most, the biggest dam, the biggest sexual assault case in history. Attorney Kohav El Kayam and me too, unless you're a Jew, are working tirelessly to make these um, requests heard and also get the people that actually their job to defend all women is the UN women. The UN Women Organization is actually their job is to defend all women. I mean, Angelina Jolie is a celebrity and she chose to tell one side of the story, which makes me um, feel scared to be honest because when you when you make once when you make that kind of narrative and you don't include and you ignore another side you only make us more separated and i'm looking for a world that is more united you know i've been very critical of the un women's group from uh, months ago for them not speaking out more about this but let me play you something that angelina jolie actually said at at the un which would make you think she would be one of the leading voices out there talking about this. Let's listen. The rights and wrongs of this issue are straightforward, and the actions that need to be taken have been identified. What is needed is political will, and that is what is being asked of your countries today. To act on the knowledge of what is right and what is unjust, and to show the determination to do something about it. She seems unwilling to do that for some reason when it comes to Israel. It's an interesting choice of words, political. The UN Women is supposed to be a non-political organization. That's exactly what they stand for. And by ignoring a group of women, Israeli Jewish women, they're becoming political by choosing to ignore, by choosing. They, by the way, they've received evidence. They've received a request to invite our experts that have been on the ground receiving bodies of dead, young, raped girls, that they wanted to talk and present the evidence, not opinions. And, and, and also, they can read just the newspaper. You wrote a, on your Instagram uh, to Angelina Jolie directly. You said, come meet the mothers that have no time to grieve their husband's death because their children are kidnapped by Hamas. Tell those mothers about refugees. I know you love all people. I know you want peace. I know you care. And look, as, as someone, you, you are very high profile in Israel. You're also obviously well known here as well. You know the power that celebrity can have in pursuing a cause. Yeah, and you know, I, she has been using that power. She has been making great efforts and great change and also encouraging all the sexual victims right now that have been triggered by this. Can you imagine all the women that have ever been sexually assaulted, and not only women, men as well, that now they feel that some people are not going to be heard? I mean, this will take us back, honestly, centuries if we're not condemning unitedly. You know, we have to have one united front against terrorism against raping, against violating women, mutilating women, raping a 12-year-old girl again and again. I mean, do I need to explain this? I, I, I don't think so. I, I'm just really asking. I know, I know she does care, and I know she's probably looking for the right words, and she's probably making 
an investigation of her own. And if I'm not, then we don't need her. We yeah. will we will do the work. We will. I, I will not stand by, me personally, as a mother, as a woman, and allow my daughter, my only daughter, to grow in a world, not just in Israel, in a world that doesn't protect all women. Yeah. I will fight, I will do, I will join with all women, and I will stand for the women of Palestine as well. This is not a political, this exact subject is not political. Yeah. Rape cannot be justified and is not political. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.